Who? Alize. Oh, that's your real, real name? That's your mm-hmm. government? Your mama mm-hmm. named you Alize? Mm-hmm. Okay. Alize. Uh, where are you calling from? New York. How old are you? I am 28. All right. Um, you got any kids? Like, like, I look so crazy. They said, um, no kids. No kids. They said you look like Sukiana. That's Have you ever got that fucked before? Up. Huh? <laughs> That's fucked up. She's not cute. What's wrong with Big Suki? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what they said. But anyway, no kids. No, Bonquisha. Hell. You want to come up here looking all wild with baby hairs? And then yeah. somebody call you Bonquisha. No, nah, that ain't me. Uh-uh. That's effed up. Yeah, they called you Sukiana in your responses. That's effed up like a big, strong boy, like Sukiana. And, and you got the forehead mustache. Can we start drawing the nose in the middle of that all 2024? Just go up on Quisha if you dare. And draw the nose in the middle of her forehead right between her baby hairs. <laughs> Yeah, Bone Keisha, we're going to let her cook. We're going to let her cook. She come up here. Y'all know what it is. Where my girl at? Yeah. Huh. Boom, 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 boom. Y'all know y'all wrong. What you do for, for a living? Um, I model, and I'm a customer success manager for a healthcare company. You model in your customer success? Mm-hmm. Um, for a healthcare company? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you um have you ever been married? No. All right, this is Alize, New York, 28, no kids, model, customer success, uh, specialist for a healthcare company. What type of man are you looking for? Um, I want someone that's tall. Um, so I'm five nine. Okay, that makes sense. So preferably someone like six two up. Preferably. All right, there you go. Preferably. Okay, six two. Go ahead. But if you're like six one with some shoes, you six two, six feet. You five. You five nine. Why you, you could stop doing no. all that? You you five. No, because when foot. you wear the heels, I don't want him to still be taller than me. Okay. When I wear heels, I'm like six one, six two. Okay, I got you. Mm-hmm. A king I might be like, short. I like a big man. Okay, big man. Got you. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Someone. I do. I am open to all races. We're not. We're um, not promoting that Black History Month. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. I'm open. Maybe. To all maybe races. when Kendra come I'm back. Maybe. All. Maybe when Kendra come back. But me, as a black man, on the third day of Black History Month, you're not gonna come on here as a black woman talking about you want all races. No. Nope. My lashes are too long. I need to get a refill. Nope. We we can start. You can do that on March first. No, Zach. Stop. And I'll say this on a more serious note, man. Don't don't stop them. Let them go. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm hoping Zach just capping and goofing around. But yeah, let him say, yeah, let him go. And we said that last night via the Regal Rumble. If Bone Quisha has a chance with Brad Chad and Knockbar. Godspeed, Bone Quisha. Go and get them. Live happily ever after. With your but baby. understand the the mark that's going to be on your resume when you try to jump back across that fence. Mm-hmm. All right? You gonna you know what I mean? You, you wonder, you're going to be along the lines mm-hmm. like baby mamas and all of that. You're going to get thrown in that pool. Hmm. You're going to be tainted when you come back. So go there ahead. You, there you go. Good luck. Here, yeah, Brad Chad checking for you. So she ain't got no kids. Let's see. Let's see if the Kendrick came was given. Chad. <laughs> Here we go. You know, all right. Love well, you asked me what I want. I like just letting you know. That's I the like point all I... races: Asian, Spanish, white, black. I know that's right. European, all of them. Ethiopian. Yep. Middle Eastern. All that. If you're cute, you're cute. Man, gotcha. All right. Um, Anything. Someone that is also attentive, affectionate, romantic, um, emotionally available. Uh, family oriented, respectful, etc. Okay, all that very good. Um, does he have to make a certain yeah. amount of money? Yes, I live in New York, so minimum like 80k base, 80,000. 
80k base. Got you. You make that type of. I also make that much too. Yeah, so. that's what I was gonna ask. Okay, so that's fair. All right, what are your deal breaking? Baby mama drama, preferably no kids. Okay. Um, no best friend, female friends. Why? That's see, that's that picky shit I was talking about. That ain't got nothing no. to do with nothing. I'm sorry. What's no. what? Okay, what's your theory on? Because they wrong? either are already fucked or wanna fuck, or she gotta be really ugly. Because I I've been there, done that. No. I literally just talked to my female best friend. She called me. We have been playing phone tag for the last two weeks. Stop the cap. All right, Bone Quisha, she she's up here spreading a lot of misinformation. But right here, we want uh, to agree with her. Come on. We have said, and Zach Kappen, Zach, stop. Like, it's one thing, man, if you're a bachelor, you're a bachelor. If you ain't, if you don't want to be married, you don't want to be married. But there you go. if you're trying to date somebody, like you said, shouldn't neither one of y'all have opposite sex friends? No, period. we we on record for saying it. Yes. And I know I said it for sure. It, it, it don't work outside of a business I don't say we I just got done playing phone tag with my what are you talking about brother see what I'm saying like I said granted if you just say it is what it is but you yeah. ain't looking for nothing apparently so there you there you go and like the sister said it can work if she butt ugly real right and we gotta like paint the picture if if you walk in and your man in there sitting on the couch with Maggie with Maggie, y'all know Maggie. And you're gonna be like, oh, what's she doing here? All right, well, tell her leave when y'all done. But if you come in and she's sitting down there with Sierra, you might like, if you don't get this F out my house. <laughs> like I said, man wouldn't even bring that's when, like you say, a man wouldn't even bring that man around that woman around the house. That's when he's sneaking off. He ain't coming home. He out hanging with her. That's what we say. It's a don't do obviously, like man, if you marry stuff like that. We just got called spade to spade. It's not a good idea to have attractive female friends that are within arm reach. Like y'all can see each other and hang out and that type stuff. No. There you go. They 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 gotta be undesirable. Then it could work. Like that's the homeboy. Like like a stud or something. That's that's a homeboy. That's a whole homeboy. <laughs> With a vet. So, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Zach, like say it. This sister, she's off base with mostly everything coming out of her mouth, but unfortunately, a broken clock is right twice a day. It's unfortunate. Amen. <laughs> I didn't say you couldn't have female friends. I'm saying your best friend can't be a female. Like, no, nah, she's, she, but she's, she's my female yeah. best friend. I, no, I'm saying like you can have female friends, but like no best friend, female friends. You know what Get I mean? to the chopper, like, Zach. Y'all be together all the yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, like, okay, okay. I see, no. I see what you're saying. Because I, I, I honestly think, and this is just how I feel, and I, I see what you're saying. If you like, oh, my best friend is a female, I would, I, I do see the red flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I do think, friend, but I do think more, more men need more platonic women friends, and women need more platonic male friends, so y'all can actually know what y'all talking about when you talk. Because most women, they go to they, they go to their single friends to talk about relationship mm -hmm. with men and. Neither one of y'all know what the hell y'all be talking about, and y'all just be giving each other bad advice. Well, meanwhile, if you had a platonic male friend that was really your friend, you could ask him, like, what does this mean? This this guy sent me this, this, this. He can tell you, like, oh, no, nah, he playing with you. Or, no, nah, look at it this way. You know what I'm saying? He give you actual advice. Zach. I didn't is this camera on me? <laughs> yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Now you going down the lane of a Derek Jackson, Ace mm. Metaphors. You going, what are you talking about? Call this man and he going to start Dirty Mac. Oh, yeah. My husband doing this. Oh, yeah. He ain't nothing. Leave that man. Yeah, he cheating on you, girl. Zach, what are you talking about, Zach? See what I'm saying? Context. Yeah, come on, Zach. Keep keep talking that mess. That, uh, that, that go both ways now, Zach. You going to get involved with a sister and she got... She got male friends, you know, football players, and like, stop, stop that. Like I said, the dirty Mac is gonna be at an all time high. And I, I see the beast saying he got a point though, but he don't beast. We no. talk about human nature, like you said. Granted, if the guys, but even if he playing for uncles, we, we know dad, how y'all get brothers. 
Ain't yeah, no when y'all friend. when y'all get alcohol in your system, even if the guy's playing for the other team, Come that's on. still it's just a bad deal. And yeah. Zach, Zach talk about well, if you talk if men talking to men, women talking to women, you can't get the other perspective. You only get one side of it. So if you had somebody that you just platonic, ah, uh, I if get she, it. If she for it got undesirable, got to be in the room, Mister Walker. It can't be desirable. It must be in the room. I I can't stress that enough. Real women and men will acknowledge that only way we could be friends is if I find you sexually undesirable. Ain't happening. Like it just ain't happening. I don't think about it. I, don't, I can't even imagine your genitals. It's over. But other than that, like it's, it's it don't work. And these sisters talk about it. They be friends. Yeah, stop. I didn't, we didn't collected too much data. It don't work unless nobody finds the other party desirable. But at some point, alcohol, pills, and herb gonna get mixed in, and meat's gonna meet. You know. Um, but okay, I got you. I got. Um, you. I got some other. What's your other deal, Bryce? Uh, uh, broke, under six mm-hmm. feet. Uh, okay. uh, disrespectful. Does not know how to speak to women. Uh, does not treat women well. I feel like that's really like a big deal breaker. Um, and I'm just like, no offense. But I prefer more. I don't like hood niggas. Okay. So more on the like, you know, have like a college. The way, oh, the way educated. The way that just rolled off your tongue. You're not gonna tell me you don't like hood ninjas. The, she goes. The way you just said that. You understand? You speak the language, Bonquisha. I don't want no hood ninja. Says a woman. A woman who you see, what I'm saying, where my girl Lamb at? Lamb, are you? I can't even picture Lamb. Say, I have no hood. Ninja. The way she just said that. See, that part. She don't want no hood ninja, no mo. So at least she's saying with her mouth. Yeah. And on top of that, uh, who was it? Tag. This is to say, her man really can't be no shorter than six two. Can't wait for her to pull up with this six two Asian. <laughs> Shout out to Tag. I see- <laughs> She gonna go find uh Yao Ming out this man, <laughs> and, and she come up here looking like a duck, quacking like a duck, but looking for a bear. So here we go. You know, has a four one OK, like savings, likes to travel, stuff like that. Okay. Has friends too, like has actual friends, like not like at home by themselves, social. Okay. What would you? What age range you want to date? Honestly, I'm open. I've dated younger guys, but I feel like to be real, like maybe like 25 to like 45. 25 to 45. Okay. Would you date long distance? I would. I would. My last relationship was long distance, so I would do it again. And how long did that last? Not that long. How long? Like a few months. Okay. Why y'all break up? They moved back to the Netherlands, so. Hmm. Netherlands. So was it, y'all were trying to break up? Did he get deported or no. something? No, so we met while he was on vacation here and we did long distance from Canada and then he moved back to his home country, so. Yeah, okay, so you at least gotta, can't be, gotta be in the United yeah. States. Yeah, like at least be in the United States, please. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Alize, it's time to do the Kendra cam, let's get it. All right, I have a full length mirror. Does that work? Yeah. yeah. If it look, if we can see you. Yeah, roll bone. What about do bone cushion? Sweater is not the best. Ooh, let me. Alize, come on, Alize. My doors. Her name is Alize. My cat don't run out. Okay. Okay, now, okay, now you take the time. Come on, now hurry up. I just don't want to like have too much in my background. Oh, this is me. All right, now. There it is. Give us a spin. The heck is... Oh. Okay. I don't know how to there it is. do a spin with the... You get the gist. We get it. All right. So, she ain't got no kids. She ain't built bad. Y'all see what y'all see. Her name, Alizé. We ain't even hit on that. Shame, shame your parents. Shame them. Alizé. Alizé. Is Alize the name of anything other than a liquor, a cheap liquor? 
Alan, I ain't never even. It must be wild and cheap because I never even had not even in college. Alize. <laughs> Shout out to my man yeah, Tupac. That, yeah, Tupac used to be on that Alize. And and on Baby Boy again. That's what he said. An Alize a day. It's like a West Coast <laughs> might be like a West Coast thing. Shout out to Cali. Okay, you might sip on me some Alize. Get my ghetto on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, mostly it's you know black folk Alize. You know, naming y'all kids Hennessy. I'm waiting for the first Casamigos. Any Casamigos babies out there? You know, please don't, Kevin. Don't say, it. please don't say that. Please, y'all gotta stop naming y'all kids after liquor and and cars. But, well, what I'll say about her, you know, as far as the dating market, I don't know. Like you said, she got the wig on and baby hairs and such. That's she got no kids. She ain't got no workable. kids. Yeah, here she is. Alize, what you hold up? Alize, how old is she? 29, 28? I'm not sure of her age. I she think she under 20. 30. Yeah, she and under 30. no kids. Under 30, no kids. Ain't blowed out. Look like, you know, I don't know what she got going. She got some wide hips. Could be BBL. It look a little wild around the hip area. Don't know what's going on. Don't want to assume. But I say all that to say uh, she 28. Okay. What we got here? Kenja top 25? <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if she tops, but she might not qualify for the banner now. Let's see. Let's give her a little bit more rope, see if she yeah. messed it up for herself. We got you, Alize. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. I don't know if there's anything else. Yeah, it's a few more questions. Just um, we, we wrapping up. Um, Alize, you don't have to answer this if you don't want. When's the last time you were interviewing with somebody? No comment. All right. I'm starting. I'm, I'm starting to think when y'all say no comment, it was yesterday. Yes, sir. It was. All right. No comment. No All right. Comment. We, we got you. Um. What What would you say is your three flaws when it comes to a relationship? And I'm needy. Needy. Okay. Um. I sometimes overreact. Okay. Crazy. I mean, overreact. <laughs> um. And. Uh. Don't have a lot of patience sometimes. No, no patience. Okay. Why do you think you're single? For all of those three things. Because <laughs> you need, you don't have no patience. And what else? And overreact. And you overreact. I feel like my attachment style is very, um, I need like a secure partner. I have a very anxious attachment style. What? So I've like been in that loop of like dating avoidant partners. That's a so I'm nice for. anxious attachment style is a real nice way to say you be doing too no, much. No, it's, it's actually like a whole thing. But yeah, basically. Um, and usually people that are anxious need more secure partners. And I've been just finding myself dating a lot of avoided people. What's this hoodoo? Mm. Okay. All right. Well, while somebody that was very aware. I didn't catch most of it. But... Whoa, we got a new age hoodoo. She said, no. She didn't say I'm clingy. She said I have an aggressive or a, a some type of a attachment style. What? Like that's in the same realm of love language. She said she got. She said she got an anxious attachment style. That's who. Yeah. The more she, the more I'm looking, she talking. It's definitely ain't no Kendra top anything. No, it you ain't. Know, yeah, she, yeah. This is this is the kind of woman. Even though she don't have children. You need to avoid her as if she three for three, because she kind of got that software going. Mm. You get her pray. This is a, a nightmare waiting to happen. This is a uh, family court. You know what I mean? All that. Mm -hmm. You don't want to deal with this. All that family court toxicity ain't gonna let you get no peace. Every time you try to find your new lady, she going she gonna have that cootie cat all in your face. You don't want these problems. Yeah. See, I was inching towards uh, catch and release, but nah. No. Yeah, tonight is the night of example. So <laughs> give her, let her go a little bit more. And here we go, folks. I'm here for it. Why would somebody be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm a loving person. I'm caring. I'll go above and beyond if we're together. Um, I'm looking to eventually have kids in the future. Um, and I want a, a two income household. Um, and I want to be successful. So anyone that wants to be with me, like, I want to like step them up, like step up together. Kind of thing. Want to build something together. Yeah. All right. How you want people to reach out to um, you? You can DM me on my Instagram. It's Alize, A L I Z E dot the drink with three K's at 
the end, so the dot drink with three Ks. Um, you can just DM me. So I see a lot of y'all in the chat. Y'all saying Glaze Galaxy, huh? Not okay. such a bad idea. It ain't. Yeah, this is Alize underscore the drink <laughs> with three Ks at the end. Holy smoking joking. Yeah, so, Alize yeah. the drink. <laughs> It's unfortunate, like I said, she done crossed the gun line, so we're gonna send her up and keep it moving, folks. They won't have a we got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. We may not know which way to go. Oh no, I see this shit is gonna be dangerous. Some dark winged duck shit. Let's get dangerous. I play the fool for the fool. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. No exception to the rule. Listen, baby. You hear me? I played the fool for a fool. <laughs> Shout out to Squeegee Key. I see you dropped her IG in the chat. Uh -oh. We'll take a look at it maybe for a second. Uh -oh. We'll pull it up and light the show. Let me see what she got going on here. All right, we'll pull it up for a second. We're going to get back into the show because we do got some madness on the back end. But we'll pull it up real quick, Squeegee Kid, because let's see what she got. Yeah, let's see. Oh, boy. Yeah, let's see if this is BBL or not. So I want to see. So she got, a, she got a blue check mark, 35,000 <laughs> followers. Look like she sell products. And... All right. She got the motorboats. <laughs> All right. So, so I, ain't, I ain't never really cared about no boo. <laughs> I ain't never no boo. <laughs> yeah, she got the motorboats, fellas. So where he yeah, she the, the fat follow for the fat like is. She definitely she back eligible. I think the IG didn't give her some <laughs> All right, she done redeemed herself. I love it. I love it. Bring her back. They said bring that shuttle back down here. <laughs> so when she catch her release now, I do that made her catch a release. Squeegee kid, squeegee kid said, get a load of this. Yeah, squeegee kid was like, hold on, squeegee kid threw her a life raft. So here we are. Shout <laughs> to squeegee kid. Shout out to squeegee kid. He done threw her a life raft, y'all. All right, Mo Quisha, you, you might live to fight another day. What is she into? She said she was messing with some dude from the Netherlands, and what's the deal? That's all I want to know. What's what's going on? Why why ain't you? You ain't got no kids. You ain't blowed out. She's 28. And you can't get no success. Ain't a bad looking sister. Well, in this case, like say I, I said a few episodes back, beauty has become a woman's greatest curse. Because mm. you you can be beautiful, you can, you know, have all the assets, you can get in bed with these men, but the men those how they don't want marriage they ain't not with you so you know what is that see what i'm saying now the, the hold it right there she's sitting there <laughs> and then sisters would dress like this and say don't objectify me and you know what she she know what she giving and that's my thing is the hypocrisy i can't stand hypocrites can't stand it yeah so this sister here goodness gracious <laughs> Yeah. Did she say marriage? <laughs> it ain't happening. Uh, to some sympathetic brother, it ain't off the tape like you say it. It ain't gonna be what she desire and respect. We'll see. There you go. Let's beauty see. is vain. There you go. Uh, Scrooge, Scrooge McDuckin. Beauty is vain, and that's my question. I keep asking, why can't these generally attractive sisters that's built like some? Why can't they just? simmer down and be level-headed and go out there and get what they want because to say. they get like said like i said we can't be hypocrites in this moment like i said they ain't gonna do it for the same reasons mr six figures ain't gonna do it they don't have to yes yeah mr six figures got he got real life options that can go the distance she that's can, true but they getting the results that they like even the queen was saying if they getting this selfish. They getting it for their lifetime. They there just doing it, like I said. They uh, it's a it's a wild game. Go. 
There you go. They they making the most out of their youth and beauty, getting it while they can, regardless of the consequence. I get it, but dumb. But dumb. that's yeah, right. yeah, it's dumb. It's definitely that, dumb. You know what? Here's the thing. Live it. Go ahead and do it. Do your thing. Live out your dream. YOLO. YOLO it up. And don't come back in your late 40s and 50s whining and talking about but they will. People. And that and that's that's why this whole thing is, is funny. They will. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, you gotta own it forever. Just own it. But these women right now, like I said, this is their greatest curse, is their beauty. And each year that go by, they done from the age of 16 all the way up to 25, 30. They just keep elevating, getting better, man. I started off with a guy in the old hoop D. He was driving a 2002 Honda. My next boyfriend had this. The next guy had his own house. The next guy had a Benz. The next guy had a penthouse. And they just keep elevating. They're like, why would I settle when I keep getting better results? Mm -hmm. But then the wall comes. And they just like, Bam. doom. And they're like, wait a minute. <laughs> they be like, Cat Williams, wait a minute. It's a house just in the penthouse, riding uh, G wagons. Why are these niggas stop calling me? Why all of a sudden, Pookie and Ray Ray, like you said, Gav from back in the day, why they hit my line again? Oh, shoot, I'm 45. Three, three, three for 10 out here. Roll hard, put away most wet. Oh, time is up. Hot Girl Summer has ended. Yeah, so. Straight mercenary, folks. Holy hell. Gospel. Um, yeah, right now, we throw the junior band at her just for semantics. That's right. funny. She came there back. They said, bring that shuttle back. <laughs> that was a warning shot. That was a warning shot. All right. Ladies, please take note the... <laughs> The power of fitness. Let's take note. She was in the shuttle. We went to the IG, peeped the physical part, said, you know what? <laughs> Let's see if she got a shot. Hope entered the room. <laughs> That's amazing. Got to take note. Y'all can't keep ignoring this. Fitness. All y'all ladies want what you want. Get fit. And as Diamond say, go out there and get what you want. So here we go. Hit the like button if you just come in the room. 